right. Um, so I believe she's in here. So. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Yeah, you'd think someone would be running the bar if you're going to be running a successful inn. Know what I mean? Well, it's certainly been an interesting last couple of days. Inducted into a group of assassins, dealing with idiot thieves, and now... <laughs> well, at the very least my first official contract has gone swimmingly. Hi there. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> it's, I think you are. It's kind of dark, and... Yep, hello, beautiful. Well, hello. what news? Is Elaine... Elaine Dufont is dead. I hope you'll appreciate the irony of him dying, well, ironically, by betrayal of his own men. I may or may not have warped his mind to make him go into a murderous rampage, and then his men killed him, because he killed one of them. It was quite funny, honestly. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. No problem. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Oh. Please, take this. As payment... And a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Well, oh, Yuri's ring and 800 gold. You certainly do pay well. Um, you know what? It's fine if you never forget me. Just um, maybe just don't mention any of this to anyone, because you know. Unfortunately, I do have a rather unique face. Hello, what's this? Looter's note. Hmm. Mightier than the sword. Okay. Weird. Anywho, I think it, I should probably report back to Astrid at this point. This city is just weird. Always has been, always will be. I'm out. Still, at the very least... Exhausted as hell by the time I get back. It's all gonna be worth it. What does that ring? What is that ring? Let's see what we got here. Ooh! That's actually incredibly useful. Hmm. That's a bit of a budding alchemist. I'd say that's actually really useful for me. Speaking of. Received. Okay, a lot of stuff in that. Clip bar, okay. I'm not going to eat a human heart. That's still a bit much, even for me. Hey, Kibble. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. Yeah, I'm well aware. I'd like to hire that. Where do you want to go? Take me to Falkreath, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Sure thing. I'm actually getting quite a decent amount of money off of this. Sorry, had to get the flowers. Oh, steady. <clears throat>
Okay, whoa. Yep, let's... Let's eat something really substantial. There we go, alright. Hopefully Astrid is fine with me taking a nap. I guess longer than a nap. I, I'm just exhausted. Fortunately, carriages are not exactly comfortable places to sleep. So hopefully, nothing's gone wrong and I can just have myself a nice nap. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Most definitely. I'm just gonna... Ugh. Sorry, Astrid. I am just exhausted. I need some sleep. I noticed the box is missing. My vision's blurring. I need to get some sleep. Let's find a bed. Perfect. Is this... <sighs> I'll see you in the morning, Astrid. Ugh. Hoping to catch some while I was there. All right. Rest it up. Still have way too much in the way of stuff in my pockets, but a trip to Riften will get that taken care of. Brother. Hey, Bizarra. Kill well and often. Oh, I got to kill quite a bit on this contract. You'd be jealous. Killed what, like a dozen people? Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager. Be able to be done. Nothing more. It's all good business. Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite wait, well. Wait, 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 ravens? Now, I need your assistance with a matter you of train more birds? personal nature. Uh, oh, look. Listen. You're a gorgeous woman and all. But if you're having relationship problems with Armjorn, well, one, I feel like it'd probably be a bad thing for me to, you know, come between a man and his wife. Or wife and her man. Similarly. Point is, as much as I like to call myself a, la you know, a ladies' man, I'm no home wrecker. So if you're looking for that kind of personal nature help, then I'm afraid I can't really help you with that. It's Cicero. Oh. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic okay. would be an understatement. Okay, I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than I that. I apologize for my... He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Astrid, okay couple things wrong. One, do you ever hear another voice when he's in this? Because, let's be real, I like the guy. He's entertaining, but he's also nuttier than a sack of squirrel shit. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just talks to himself, and honestly, you're coming off a little bit paranoid. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. And my gut's telling me okay, that demented little fool is up to something. I guess when you're in the, the in the business of killing people, it's not actually paranoia if there are actually people out to get you, so... Yeah, okay, fair enough. What do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. Are you kidding no, me? You need I'm a, a nightingale. Place. 
somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Um, that seems kind of disrespectful. And also, kind of gross. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, yep. and report back to me with whatever you learn. Are you sure about this? It seems... <sighs> what do you think he's planning, if anything? Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's Keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Really? Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim. The queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. Is the Night Mother like... a goddess or something? Or at the very least, the spouse of a god? Like, I'm pretty sure she'd know if something was up, right? Any idea who would conspire with Cicero? I mean, other than Festus, I don't know. That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. There are two doors. Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? I'm still convinced the very you're being paranoid. breaks my heart. I'm still convinced this is unnecessary paranoia, so I'm gonna do this, but I'm just very much believing you're probably misinterpreting something. Anything else I should know? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his... ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. All right, I'll get on it. I'll get on it. Go. Quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. Just, can I get a snack first? Seriously? I just woke up. I'm hungry. You wouldn't like me when I'm hungry. I just... Uh, I can eat a bear at this point. Sit this whisper be upon you, brother. As well, Gabriella. I'm just... Oh, I need food. <laughs> Blech. I think I caught something while I was in Windhelm. And his ear. So many contracts, so little time. Okay, I need your input on something. As for things, there might be someone conspiring with Cicero. Does she? Listen, brother. Astrid is my mistress, and I worship the ground she walks on. But this Cicero business has her a bit paranoid. See, that's what I said. That's what I said. I think she's being a bit paranoid. Whatever. All right, well, I'll catch you later in this year. Go on now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting some breakfast. I mean, seriously. Can't deny me if one to eat. On that note, I really do need to deal with that at some point. All right, well, bit of breakfast, and now let's let's see what we're dealing with, I guess, because this is this whole situation just feels weird. Like, I think this ear said, it just feels, feels like she's being a little too paranoid. Yeah, there's two doors. There's two sets of doors. It could be coming in from anywhere. Unlock the co the coffin? Seriously? Ugh. You know, you'd think they could put her in something a little more... I don't know, ceremonial? Something that less... Less burial wrappings and more... You know. <laughs> That's fine. All right, well...
Are we alone? Okay, there we go. Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything to? is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. I'm specific, I'm not the only Argonian. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. You can't be a member of the family then, because you no wouldn't obey any of them. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Okay, so he's just crazy. Poor oh, Cicero. <laughs> Dear Cicero. Such oh, a humble fuck. servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Uh, oh, but how can I defend you? How can I insert your will if you will not speak is talking. to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. Oh, for you shit. are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. Mm. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for words? all these years. What words? Darkness rises when silence dies. What? <laughs> what treachery? Defiler, debaser, and defiler! No, 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 no. I am not into that kind of thing. No, 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 no. The of the night mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Okay. Call. Speak, worm! Okay, first off, don't call me worm. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I am the one. So calm down for a minute. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. Shit, I'm gonna lie. have to stab the clown, the aren't Night I? The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Okay, I'm going to say these some words to you that she told me to tell you. Hopefully, this doesn't have to get violent. Because I could really use a stabbing right now. She said to tell you, darkness rises when silence dies. She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. Yep, that's it. That's the but one. those are the words. The binding words. Written in the... Keeping tomes. I'm guessing that's something so only know. keepers would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. You believe me now? And it's true. She's back. Hey, you're dancing. That's a good sign, hopefully. She's back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a good thing. Okay. No need to stab? Good. Alright. Oh, hey, Astrid. Why sit this? This ends now. 
Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Astrid, um, I heard the commotion. I told you that it was paranoia. Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the night mother. I spoke to the night mother, but she didn't speak to me. Clown's right. She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? I'm fine, but I... This is all very weird. Okay, let's all take a deep breath. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Please tell me this is some kind of sick joke. No, it's, un it's true. She spoke to me and said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else? Just the Night Mother's body? I told you and he was not here in this squirrel shit. According to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yeah, as crazy as it sounds, and believe me, I'm pretty sure I inhaled some weird-ass embalming fluid in there. But yeah. By Sithis. And? What did she say? She said I must speak to someone named Amand Motier in Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Okay. So, if the Night Mother's telling me to go see him, I'm going to take a stab in the dark, <laughs> stab, and assume he's probably performed the Black Sacrament. Because that's her whole deal, right? Someone prays to her, does the Black Sacrament, and then they tell the listener who then goes and organizes the contract, right? So, I should probably go and talk to him then? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily I'm dismissed. I'm not trying to I, disobey your I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay, look, Astrid. I'm not trying to disrespect your authority here, all right? As a fellow guild leader, I understand. Especially considering my own idiots have been disrespectful as shit. I'm not trying to disrespect your authority. This just all seems... You know what, she's right. I just need... I need something to do. Uh. No, oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well. I have. <laughs> Will she speak to me again? <laughs> Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. I don't know anything well, about what I'm doing the here. the night mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know, but speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. Huh? The rest of us should be so lucky. Did you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. Oh. The silence became almost... maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Okay, so we're cool then? Like, you're not gonna try and... Stab me and laugh maniacally while I sleep. We're still friends. I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Uh, what exactly does a listener do? Oh, the listener. Well, 
listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. Okay. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Gotcha. Well, we better hope Astrid comes around, because... Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. I guess they are. I... Oh, another deity of darkness. Who orchestrates behind the scenes. I really hope Astrid thinks this, her next move through very carefully. Because the last thing we need is another shadowy entity deciding they really want to curse us. I need to sit and have a break. I need, I need lunch at this point. Whew. What a day. All Make right, it then. quick. Up. Uh, huh? Uh, uh, no. Jeez, I can't, didn't even see you. Hey, Gabriella. Yes? Uh, okay. Walk always in the shadow of Sithis. Will do. Hey, uh, Will Nazir. Ev brother. Uh, Astrid wanted me to see you about some new more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. Alright, what do we got? As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Okay. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. I'm sorry, what? Happy hunting. A vampire. Okay, let's start with the obvious. Tell me about the vampire. He's a vampire, and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. Okay. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. I'm... Um, yeah, that one I'm probably gonna have to wait on, because... Gods, I'm probably nowhere near equipped to take on a vampire right now. Maybe. I don't know. I've never actually fought a vampire. I've usually... Let's count those dogs. Tell me about Lurbuk. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Seriously? Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. You're kidding me. Wow. How bad is his music? Sheesh. All right then. Well, I will. I'll go figure out how I'm gonna take care of this. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need it with the vampire. Good lord, especially there's two of them. Anything I can disenchant. I'm not disenchanting that. I am going to disenchant this, though. Okay, then. So... Let's see where they are first. So, Lurbrook is in Morthal. I've actually never been to Morthal. I, well, actually, I was there in the swamps, but I've never actually been to Morthal itself. It's a hern. It's in a mill off lake. Whatever that lake is called. Hmm. Ironically, the vampire one is actually really close. I think... Hmm. Could be.
You know what? Might as well speak with the Jarl of Falkreath while I'm here. Figure out what the hell he wanted me for. Maybe there'll be somewhere I can sell some stuff to, because... Yeah. I'll see if I'm maybe taking on that bard contract at some point. The vampire... Yeah, that's... Vampires are not a contract I'm going to be able to take on for a while, because... One vampire is tough enough, but two? No way. That's... That's a bit beyond my skill set right now. Huh. Actually... Shit, if I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to hunt down a vampire for a contract. Might actually finally have to go check out that Dawnguard I've been hearing about non-stop for the past few months. I mean, if they're that well known, they must be at very least competent. And hunting vampires, I assume. So, maybe... Maybe that would be... Get me a little... Learn a thing or two from them. Maybe... That could give me a hand. A leg up. In dealing with some of the... The obvious risks of trying to assassinate a pair of vampires. Oh, hello. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? Maybe. I might have some Take stuff to sell you. Actually, do you have salt? Salt is something I find myself really needing a lot. Hello, you have Daedra hearts. Do you have salt? Yes, you do. Thank you. A lot of interesting ingredients. Ooh. You know what? I could use some of those. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. Not quite what I was thinking. It was a general store. So, let's... See, that's a blacksmith. It's got to be a general store around here. Somewhere. There it is. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Maybe. Let me just... Well met. Unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. I'm sorry, you're a what now? I was once, but not anymore. I was wounded in a skirmish up near Windhelm. This was years ago, mind you. Now, maybe I don't pick up a blade in Ulfric's name no more, but I still hold with his ideals. Skyrim is Nordland, and we ought to rule it. We don't need no help from the Empire on that count. You know, look, I'm all for nationalism, just... Look, if you got any, any kind of, shall we say, unneighborly thoughts about me, or my people, Keep them to yourself. I'll sell you stuff. You buy stuff from me. I buy stuff from you. We keep this to a purely business transactional relationship. And we'll get along just fine. Okay, so Luff? What do you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Don't oversell it on me, alright? Bone arrows. What the? We have a lot of arrows for sale. Wow, that is incredibly powerful. And we have food. You know what? I'm curious. All 
right, so I've got some stuff I can sell you. Not sell me that. How many iron air I have? No iron arrows? Seriously? That is very weird. I'm sure you'll probably enjoy this. Keeping that, actually, and the gold ore. And there we go. I think you'll make yourself a decent profit off of these. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. Now what could possibly give you the idea I'm going to steal anything from your shop? Huh? You know, what did I say about making assumptions about me based on my race? What do I look like, a Khajiit? Look around all you want, but don't try anything funny. I'm sorry, that was insensitive, man. I should not make jokes like that. But yeah. Seriously. Making assumptions about me because of my race? Huh? It's because I'm wearing black armor? You just automatically assume I'm a thief, huh? <laughs> Nords. See, now I'm tempted to come back in the middle of the night just to steal something from him out of spite. Alright, let's see what the Yarl wants so we can get the hell out of here. Hello. Um. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. Yeah. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Okay, what about me, Screams Warrior? Seriously, tell me. Uh, you're the Yarl, right? Yes. What is it that you want? Well, I got your letter that you sent me a while ago, actually. I'm, I'm Victor Valsetti. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits what in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. Oh, really? The cut they were giving me was good at first. But now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. <laughs> you know what? I like your style. I like your style. All right, it'll be done. Good. I hope I will be getting compensated for this. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. I've been needing to deal with some frustrations. You know what? He may be young for a Jarl, but I like his style. It's a knife point rage. That's... It's not too far from here. I could use the... I could use the stress relief. Apparently, murder is just the best way to relieve stress here in Skyrim, because... Seriously, getting drunk is one thing, but that's an expensive habit. Not to mention, also, pretty problematic in my line of work. In addition... I don't know. Drinking just seems like a Nord thing, not an Arconian thing. Now, wine, though, that's a bit more classy. No brothels here like there is back in the Imperial City. Which is very odd. Like I don't know, last I heard about Nords was their whole deal was, you know, drinking, fighting, and fucking. Sometimes in that order. Or congruently, like seriously. It's kind of become known for it. It's so really weird and there's more that there's not really any anything for that kind of thing here.
I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying I'd pay an exorbitant amount for it, you know, for sex. But I mean, just I'm lonely. All right, I'm lonely. What the hell are you? Bone wolf. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Gah. Rude. I'm just having a monologue. Hmm. You know what? I could sell that. That's not a lot. Bone wolf. What? Where'd the body go? There it is. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Hello. Ah. Uh, Tougher one. There we go. Shannon swords for the win. Oh man. The hell's a bone wolf? Poisons. Alchemy ingredients. You know, would it kill you to make sure that your, you know, dark magic altar was kept clean? Would it kill you? I mean, because with necromancers, it wouldn't actually kill you. What we'll do is killing others, bringing them back to do your stuff. I'd say necromancers are probably extremely lazy people if they could just reanimate people to do their dirty work for them. for a multitude of reasons. No lot of gemstones, though. Let's see, how far am I? Not that far. Okay. Sheesh. We need to look more in... Maybe I need to get more of my people on that, because... One dragon. It's pretty concerning, though. Guess we know where that caravan went. You there, please, you have to help me. I was attacked by a vampire. Do you have a potion or something that oh. can cure this before I turn? Slow down. Where did this happen? Here, I'll show you on your map so you can stay away. Please, if you can help me, let me know, or get out of my way so I can try to find a priest. <sighs> Sorry, I don't have any cure poisons, cure disease potions. Sorry, mate. Then get out of my way. I have to get to a town and find a priest. Yep. Uh, best of luck. Vampirism is... Well, it's tough if you don't want it. If you don't make it to town in the next three days, uh, well, I hope you like the taste of blood. Poor bastard. This is the ridge. I'm certain. Ah! Ah, fuck! Okay. Rude little mutts. Sheesh. Okay. This is Knife Point Ridge. He's gonna be archers, I can already feel it. It's six PM. Let's see if I can I 
might actually be able with the right arrow with a, with a strong enough arrow plus some poisons okay. yep I suck with a bow why did I think that was a good idea? Although, actually... I could use Nightingale Sutterfuge. Find a spot I can slip up in. Smartest move. Hiya. You picked a bad time to get lost. Okay. You in the back. Well, I don't even need to use ch news the Metro Blade for this. It was too easy. Did you? You're so much easier to rob when you're dead. You know what? I couldn't agree more. Good day. That. Well, hello. I don't know how you didn't hear all of that, but I'll thank thank you for the meal. I am feeling a little bit peckish. Honestly, I might take a nap. <laughs> hmm. 
Make sure there's no one I missed. Hello, chest. And there we go. That seems like a lot of weight to carry. Seems to be valuable. We'll see. You know what? I could use all the tips I could get when it comes to archery. I'm very bad at it. You know... How much of a power move would it be for me to sleep in the beds after killing the entire camp minus the leader? He is blissfully unaware. Or she, I suppose. Bandits are kind of unigender. <laughs> I'm probably flubbing my words now, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry. A bit battle high. <laughs> what are Nords like fighting so much? 